Sometimes when life gets rough, I tend to just want to lay in bed, wish I could get myself out of this rut, but continue to feel sorry for myself. I've realized we don't often romanticize the difficult times in our lives, when we might not be in a good place mentally, or when we're feeling sick. But that's exactly when we need to romanticize the little things. When we're feeling low, that's when we need the little joys the most by putting a beautiful spin on how we approach our day-to-day lives. And I'd like to share how I've made the best of difficult times lately. I'll start off by saying, I know some people view spirituality and religion as cuckoo boo boo things, but I'm not gonna lie to you and say my faith hasn't played a huge part in my mental health and my life in general, because it has. I love to infuse my morning routine with mindfulness, that is by having my quiet time, reading, meditating on God's word, praying and journaling to God, expressing my situation and my feelings while also thanking him, having gratitude for everything I have. It's a great way to get your day started and you can always customize it to your liking. You may want to watch a funny YouTube video in the morning, read a self-development book, whatever a morning routine looks like for you. I'm always going to mention keeping your space neat. Like I said before, you do not want your space contributing to your stress. Your environment plays a huge part in your mental health. Make it your safe space. Create a beautiful ambience. That's an easy way to romanticize your life. You can always rearrange your space, making it look fresh and new again without spending a dime. Create your dream space with items you already have. I know there are people that doesn't really mind a little mess to each their own, right? Some things are unenjoyable, no matter how hard we try, but we still need to get it done. We're not always going to feel motivated to do certain things. We have to challenge ourselves. When you have a deadline or a difficult email or a text you have to write, make it into a challenge and reward yourself when it's done. That helps me not to take things too seriously because life is not just about the list of to-dos. Yes, we have responsibilities and things need to get done, but it's also a reminder to have a little joy in the process. Lately, I've learned to embrace my mistakes. I'm the type of person that will let my past mistakes eat me up, which leads me to guilt, regret, and overthinking. So instead of dwelling in that, I want to embrace them instead and see it as self-growth and lessons I had to learn. We need to have grace for ourselves a little bit. Indulging in your senses is one of the easiest way to romanticize your life. To truly stop and smell the roses, feel the breeze on your skin, take in the sights of your surroundings, and take time to taste your morning coffee or tea. This type of mindset can apply to anything that you are doing, and it's an easy way to relieve stress and be more in the moment. Our society has become so fast-paced It's a hustle culture, always go, 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 and always be productive, doing this and that without taking any time just to slow down. Take more time to be intentional and enjoy what you're doing in the moment. And if you're always in this hamster wheel, make it a point to schedule a relaxing time, to read, build a puzzle, or just to be. One of my favorite things to do is to immerse myself in a good book. It really is the best escape. It just transports my mind to faraway places and gives me the coziest feelings. Many people don't make time for this, so it truly can be an indulgence and you can make the atmosphere cozy by cuddling up with a blanket, candles lit, and having a warm drink. If you have a good support system, make time for your people. It's so easy to isolate yourself when you're going through things, but being surrounded by loved ones and making plans with them can really uplift your mood. Romanticize your time with your friends, get together, dress up a little, go to dinner, reach out to your tribe. I know as an introvert myself, that can be a little difficult, but they probably want to spend time with you too. 
have phone free days does the sound of that just sound awful it's really hard being present when you're constantly on your phone charge it and go watch a movie i used to let it charge while i'm scrolling that's not okay or you can leave it in the other room and spend time with your significant other your kids your roommate i think we live in our phones way too much these days which is a little concerning our phones are meant to be tools but now it's actually ruling our lives so having phone free days might help us snap back to our reality falling in love with life is all about enjoying yourself we can achieve it with the simplest pleasures savoring your cup of coffee in the morning treating yourself to your favorite food or watching the sunset mundane moments can offer great experiences it can be taking a walk listening to your favorite podcast enjoying your current series life is all about having little things to look forward to find your simple pleasures it will help create the life you love i know life is not a fairy tale and that there are certain things we shouldn't romanticize but we have the power to choose whether we go through life with a negative mindset or with one of gratitude if perception is truly what shapes reality we should choose to make our plot twist beautiful